Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and this is my beautiful little girl, Miss Kiyomi Lee. Today we are back to doing some ponytails. She wanted something cute and girly. She said, Mommy, I want hair ballies. So hair ballies and barrettes is what she got today. And I think it's super cute. It's a nice change from her braids that she's been wearing or her cornrows to be exact because with her ponytails instead of twist we're gonna do braids because I feel like personally on her hair they last better and look a lot nicer so yeah we're gonna do braids with her ponytails so it can still last me all week and I don't have to worry about it so the products that I am using today are going to be this coconut oil blue magic hair grease as well as the Camille Rose Natural Kids Sunday Glaze Hair Moisturizer. That was the first thing that you've seen in the tube. It is a great moisturizer. It smells delicious. Yes, delicious. And it has great slip to it. And we're also going to use this Pro Style Olive Oil Hair Gel. Yes, I am using gel because I know that I don't typically use it like throughout her hair. But because these are ponytails, I want the base of her hair that's by her scalp and her rubber bands to stay pretty neat throughout the week. So I am going to use that. I am using rubber bands and of course hair knockers as well as barrettes. And here you just see me making sure the moisturizer is all the way to the ends of her hair. That needs love too. It needs a lot of love and moisture because it tends to get neglected and that's how we end up with split ends. So, make sure you show the ends of the hair some love. So, on these hair knockers, you all, at the end of the braid, first I'm going to put a rubber band. I'm going to secure it with a rubber band so that our braid can't come down first and foremost. And then on top of the rubber band, I'm going to tie the hair knocker around that. And then on top of the hair knocker, because I, like I said, I don't want to worry about her hair for the rest of the week. And she will have these hair knockers in throughout the week. So once I put the hair knocker on top of the rubber band, I am then going to take another rubber band and wrap it around the balls to the knocker. I hope that makes sense. It's like only the knocker balls will get another rubber band wrapped around it. Oh God, I hope that makes sense. Um, but that secures the knocker and it never comes out. It will not come out until you decide to take them out. She can't pull them out or anything, so it works great.
for the parting, you all, it is like so uncomplicated. I'm just doing diagonal parts throughout each section of the hair. The parting will be the exact same for each section of the hair. So you have the bottom part that I already completed, and now I'm on the middle section, and we're gonna do the exact same parting. So on the two ends, you see how that looks like a triangle? We're gonna make it diagonal parting so that it creates the triangle effect. And on the opposite end, we're going to do the exact same thing. And then that center ponytail will have like an upside down triangle. So it looks really cute. It looks like you thought about it a whole lot, but you really didn't. You just made some diagonal parts versus straight parts. So it looks a little bit more unique and different versus a straight part. It looked like you put a lot more thought into it when it really didn't take a lot of thought at all. So that's a great little trick to use to make your hairstyle look a little bit more thought out than what it really is. And it doesn't take any extra time at all just to do that small detail.
by the look on her face. I didn't want to edit it out because for what? Um, doing our little one's hair, sometimes things are going to hurt, but once the barrette was in, it didn't hurt at all. Like, the pain only lasts for that split second while you try to put it on. But, yes. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Subscribe to my channel. And until next time, you guys. Oh, I do want to add in there that I do not slay my baby's edges every day. I do not give her baby hair every day. I pretty much only do that on Sundays. You know, when we're going to church or if we go out to some, you know, special event. But no, I am not slaying her edges every day because I want her to have some edges. Uh, slaying edges is what got my own edges really thin. Plus, you know, DNA. Can't help that. But anyway. So yes, I am not going to do that to her hair. I've learned from my own mistakes. So like I said, it is okay for our babies to have their natural edges from a day-to-day -day basis. But anyway, with that being said, you guys, 